asking City of Fort Myers leaders for what they will do to prevent future water main breaks. And for the past few days, thousands of people in the city have been without water because uh, water main took on damage. So on Saturday, the City of Fort Myers says a water main break broke right here near Edison Avenue and Rockville Road in Fort Myers. Water is back on and running, and it has been since Sunday morning, but families in the entire city are now being asked to boil their water until further notice. Fox 4's Elise Chingari continues her coverage after telling us back on Fox 4 News at 5 that tomorrow is not a guarantee of this being all over. Elise. Good evening, Nadine and Chris. Obviously a concern for residents and businesses throughout Fort Myers. They want to know when this boil water notice will be lifted. Well, after I spoke with the utilities director, it's kind of a bit confusing because a lot of people were expecting it to be lifted by tomorrow morning. However, a lot of those tests are not coming back until tomorrow afternoon. So the soonest it could be lifted would be tomorrow afternoon. That means more than 92,000 people throughout the city of Fort Myers need to continue to boil their water until further notice. It definitely affects me. Um, luckily for us, we have Publix right here, but walking back with a couple gallons of water is uh, can definitely be frustrating. That citywide boil water notice creating frustration for residents and businesses all throughout Fort Myers. For us, we're super lucky, but not everyone has a Publix a half a block away. City of Fort Myers Utilities Director Richard Moulton says the line's large size meant crews spent more than 18 hours identifying and fixing the break he says can affect any part of the city. We have a looped system, so if one, if you look at a circle, any portion of the circle that breaks is an important portion of the circle that breaks because it breaks the circle. So we get it. The water main broke, but it's placed an entire city on a boil water notice. So what's being done to possibly prevent this from happening again, or what solutions are in place for the future? Over the next um, five years, almost $420 million. And quite a bit of that investment is in new infrastructure, new uh, water plants, new wells, new pipelines, new sewer. All of that is in an effort to rejuvenate any of our older lines, both gravity, sewer lines, and water lines to make sure we minimize those areas that are susceptible to this type of uh, uh, event. Of course, I kept asking the question, you know, when can we expect it to be lifted? But I could not get a straight answer of an exact date. All I was told is that those tests will be back tomorrow afternoon. Now, when those tests come back, some might need to be retested. They might not be happy with those results. So they could not give a concrete answer on when it will be lifted. But trust that we here at Fox 4 will continue to keep pushing for answers on when it will be lifted. Of course, as we said, more than 92,000 people here in the city of Fort Myers need to continue to boil that water until further notice. Live here in Fort Myers, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.